Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So we start in the field today. I know we do normally start by opening the gate because that's very exciting. Uh, but no, we have to start here because we are so busy doing the bailing. We're just finishing off the bailing. And I was going to discover if... Oh, I haven't got that enabled. Yes, I was going to discover if this tractor is powerful enough to pull a fully loaded trailer up the hill because this trailer is super heavy once it gets full of bales. So far, none of the tractors we've used have had enough power. And to be honest, although this tractor is extremely good, I don't think this will have enough power either. Because, yeah, it is just so heavy. This trailer just gets ridiculously heavy. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to find out. So far, we have 71 on there. Just over two-thirds full. So my foot is to the floor. And as you can see, as we get further up the hill the slower we go. This this is just a test. We don't actually need to have it fully loaded. We might as well just go and sell some. But actually, that's not bad. I was expecting it to just get slower and slower, but it has achieved something there. <laughs> it's achieved getting up the hill with 75% of a trailer load. So in that case, maybe it will make it. If, of course, we have enough straw to fill it, but it looks like we probably will do. Downhill obviously is no issue at all. Um, in fact, so much so that the baler has overtaken me. Get back behind me, baler. The big heavy trailer is pushing it. Well, this is uh, difficult to control. Oh, it's getting slower. But it is still doing it. I've never seen the trailer so full. I've never had the opportunity to see it as full as this. It's a good tractor. I wish we could buy it. And as for the combines, yep, two others have been recommended to me. Thank you everybody who did recommend those. Uh, we, we might use them next time. They are more expensive, but they're also, well they have cabs, they're bigger. Um, so they have a larger grain tank, possibly a larger header. The header actually is quite big on the one we've been using, but Yes, I believe the uh, the grain tank is larger. And uh, they should be able to chop the straw. And I think we probably in the future will chop straw because then we can have an application of fertilizer. I have to have the uh, chop straw mod installed, obviously. But I'd much prefer to have the application of fertilizer over some bales. We don't actually need straw bales. We don't have cows. And we probably never will have cows, so yes, uh, the bales are only to be sold. Look at that, 94% full. I don't know if they're going to fit. I don't know if we're going to make it either. Well, I know. We'll switch it off, although traction is probably the issue, not the power. Yeah, that's made no difference whatsoever. Um, in which case I might as well continue bailing. I'll just sit here, we'll get there eventually. And we did indeed get there eventually. We have a full load, 100%. As you can see, it's really pushing the baler around. What a bully. It's really bullying the baler. But yes, um, well, we've got a few. Well, we've got one, two, uh, which haven't actually managed to fit onto the trailer. So I'm not too sure if we can actually unstrap them and then put them on the top. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll just add those two to the pile and all the missed bits will just get cultivated back in so yeah I think we can call that a great success and we can take this over to the store or over to the sell point and make some money but there really must be quite a lot here you can see just how heavy that is looking at the acceleration um, yeah I don't know if we have to get some hill that's going to be a problem price is good Yes, that means it does need to go up a hill, because that's over here, and I can't even get up this hill. So that'll be fun. Come on now. <laughs> power. We need power. I don't know how much this trailer weighs in the game, but I think that it's maybe unnaturally heavy. But don't get me wrong, it is a really good trailer. Having that trailer behind the baler is extremely handy. So 
so far so good. But here is the hill. If I can get to maximum speed, which I think we're at now. Yeah, I think 19 is the maximum it is. Um, yeah, we'll watch it go to zero. <laughs> I really would be so surprised if this makes it. I do have faith in this tractor. But, yeah, I just know how heavy that trailer is. Yes, okay, we have got to zero. As predicted. So, yeah, I'll just have to uh, assist it. So slow, I've caused so much chaos on the road. Not too sure how many cars built up behind me, not too many. But still, a bit of a traffic jam for them. And here we are at the cell point. Let's lighten the load and make our bank account a bit more full. Uh, right, what do we need to do? Unload bales. Of course, yes, the unload to the side. Oh, that was satisfying. Really satisfying to watch that. 6,682. Which, actually, when you put it that way, means it is worth doing bales over fertiliser because it would never have cost £6,600 to fertilise that one field. We just really need to have a bigger baler. But one step at a time, we need to buy the field next and actually, that's almost enough money to be able to buy the new field. Which I was hoping to buy today. Field number... Oh, no. I was going to buy field number one, but it looks like they've put sugar beet in it. Which is no good. Okay, uh, but there is... Well, there are many other fields, actually. We will have to take a look and see exactly how much those fields are. But it's not like we have nothing to do. We do need to redrill our field, and because we have the Ford which is not ours, it is uh, rented, uh, but because we have it, we can get that done. It also means that we're gonna have to return the baler. We don't need the baler for the grass. So that can go, as can this trailer. There we go, the windrow can stay. This trailer, um, well, if we're gonna have the same combine as before, this will be replaced because it is too tall, but I'm hoping we'll have a different combine and then we can keep the taller trailer. Everything else here should be fine. We've got wool, we've got eggs to sell, so if we do need to uh, get a bit more money, we can do. 27,600 for fill number one. Um, that was one of my options. Actually, fill number 11, that's not too far, but that's really close. We could get that. I was also gonna uh, go 14, which is 23,000. Uh, let's have a look at fill number two, because I haven't actually really looked at it. I've still got this zoomed in uh, from when I did my screenshot. Yeah, so this is one we'll buy eventually, when it hasn't got sugar beet in it. We can't be buying it with sugar beet. It does have a crop in it. It's got a good soybean crop in it. So this actually seems like a really logical one to go for. And then we can go for this one next time, and then we'll have all of this. That would be great. Oh, look at my trees. They're coming along nicely. I'm not too sure why some are at a different stage, because they were from what I can remember, all planted at the same time, and they're all the same type of tree. Pine. Pine. Oh well. We'll be staggering the tree felling anyway, so that doesn't even matter. Yep, so we've got drilling to do, mowing to do, and, well, if we buy that now, which we probably should do, harvesting to do. Because, yes, even if we don't harvest it today, which we probably won't do, it will prevent the current owner from harvesting it. So, yeah, 17,000. It was a very good one to go for because it leaves us with some money. We don't want to have no money at all. And then we've got a few bales which are over here, which we'll just get out of the field just so we don't run over them. I think, yes, it would be a good idea to drill this field before we rest. Because then... I'm not too sure if we're going to keep the uh, the Ford overnight, but it would prevent us from having to have it tomorrow, incurring a daily fee. But the option, the mod, which allows you to have a... Oh, I keep forgetting the name of it. It's like um, you lease something, and then after a certain amount of time you can purchase it. 
for less money. That is a serious consideration. We, we should go with that. So, as soon as I um, remember what it's called, that mod, I'll have to look at the comments again. Uh, yes, I will most likely add that to this game. Anyway, what should we put in? I'm thinking, well, we need we need some chicken feed. We've got soybeans over there, so that's not for the chickens. The trailer is full, but it won't last for two years. So, yeah, really we want to put in barley. What did we have? We had wheat before. I think we'll put barley in. We've got fertilizer and everything, so this should be pretty simple. And that's pulling that really well. We'll see how well it pulls it uphill. I'll just double check and make sure it is actually putting the right crop in. Yep, it is good. Perfect. Yeah, see if we own this. Sorry, car. If we own this, we would get so much done. Now we could sell our little John Deere tractor to help fund it. And we could also put a front loader on this as well. There's a lot to consider. I will of course shift the trailer when we get to it. But as soon as I know how well this can pull it uphill, I'll start a time lapse, we'll get this field done really quickly, and then we can move on to the next job. I knew that was gonna happen. That tree, I hit it every time. If it's on my land, I might as well get rid of it. Is it mine? Is it decoration? Oh, nice. I love trees, but that one is so annoying. I've hit it so many times. And it looks like pulling this uphill is a breeze. Well, there we go. Nice and fast. And thorough. So we have a lovely, fertilised field of barley. Make sure I've lifted up. Yep, don't want to go drilling the grass field. And really, I think the grass field is going to be the priority. So, yeah, it's higher purchase. That's just, it's just come to me. I already knew that, but I completely forgot it briefly. It was on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, yes, um, how much is that? for a daily fee, just for this episode. I think I went for, good grief. Whoa, I've never seen bales in the store before. That is a first. Has anybody ever seen that before? Anyway, uh, just roughly, um, it looks like it is 460 pounds, which actually is very reasonable for this game. So I think we'll go with it. Every single tractor spawns in a pile of bales. It must be because I've got these bales here. I don't know. That's just weird. That is really weird. I've never seen that. Well, even after goodness knows how many hours of this game I've played, you still see something new. A fascinating hilarious glitch right okay so <laughs> uh let us rest and then we'll get this uh this mower attached to 
that. Actually, do we, we really don't need it, do we? But then if I was to re-rent it, it would be expensive. Although we could then re-rent it with the higher purchase mod. Just quickly before we rest, let's check the price for wall. Uh, best time is about April, May time. It's currently March and it is 3474, which is almost the peak. So I think we'll gamble and we'll see if we can get that higher overnight. 3474, we have to beat. Good morning, everybody. Yes, we'll keep the tractor. 3525. And I should think just by waiting, we'll have got enough to cover that extra daily fee. Um, so, well, they don't even have to be sold at the beginning of this month, it could be later this month, it's just I have to do it, I have to sell them before that price goes down. It is still climbing, so we'll keep it going as much as we can do. And the lovely chickens have produced more eggs. Thank you, chickens. How many do you have? How much food do you have? Plenty. And they've got a full trailer as well. So, yes, we will use that for picking up, I should think and uh, this for mowing. We will have to windrow. Um, we're actually getting grass. But we might put some in the pit as well. When I say grass, I mean we're keeping grass for the sheep instead of specifically for the pit. What a difference a day makes. Look at this field now. Everything's so much greener. Looking lovely. If I'm not mistaken, this field didn't have anything done to it. I don't think it will have any... Well, it'll have one application of fertilizer because it's grass, so it just gets it naturally. Yep, 50% fertilized. I didn't do anything to it. So we do need to really do more with the grass. More fertilizer rolling. That's something that we should do. Ah, oh, those trees have caught up. Nice. Yeah, it's all looking much nicer, actually. And that field will probably need to have its second application of fertilizer. The one to the right of us. But next episode, hopefully we can harvest that new field. We won't need a baler because it is a soybean field. That's looking really nice. Very tidy. So I will now continue doing all of it. Get it all mowed. And then we'll get it all rowed. Despite only being half fertilised, it does seem to be really good. It's a really thick load of grass that we're getting off this. Some big piles. And I am pleased that I expanded the grass field. Uh, there was a piece missed. Here it is. Right, is that everything? I believe so. Nope. Need to be thorough. Okay, I think that's everything. So now, we can fold that up and we'll get the windrow on the back ready for next time. Because, well, we're gonna, we'll windrow it now, but then we'll uh, pick it up next time. 
there is not a major rush to pick it up although well my plan is to put most of it into the pit now and then keep about well a quarter of it maybe a quarter of it as just loose grass for the sheep And if we got the other tractor, the Ford with the front loader, on higher purchase, then we could just get a bucket and scoop it up out of a pile. That would be perfect. It's very small looking, this windrow, but actually it can make some good sized swaths. Not to be underestimated. make this field look nice and tidy. Well, that's looking like the most grass we've ever had. I can't even begin to imagine what it would look like if we had fully fertilised it and rolled it. Which is what we'll uh, be aiming to do next time. Uh, okay, so I've just got to go down the side because I have got a bit that's sort of gone into the new field. Well, into the new crop. There is a deer in my field. Not too bad here. Just a bit further down, you can see we're pulling this out. So we'll just treat that as a separate swath and pick it up next time. Right, so we are done. It's the grass done, we've got a new field purchase, we've completely turned that field over there around. So that's great, and we'll be back into the Ford next time. And yeah, hopefully I'll have sorted out the higher purchase mod. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.